grid forecast. I can't believe we're already back to school. Mallory, if you're real quiet, you can hear all the parents cheering. Yeah, that time <laughs> of year. So, uh, good weather for it too. Feeling like August. Now sa satellite radar's got clear skies in place, some storms and showers to the south, but otherwise things are dry here and we'll stay that way the next couple of days. One speed bump into Tuesday, but before I get too ahead of myself, let's talk about temperatures today because a nice change of pace. What's been an incredibly hot summer. We broke the record for triple digit heats. We did it eight times. Nowhere near that today. The 70s and 80s have been really nice, coupled with sunshine. Here's a bigger improvement. Now the Debbie's out of here. The dew point has come way down. The measure of moisture in the atmosphere is a good gauge of how sticky it feels outside. That humid feeling tends to show up around 60 degrees on this map, so we're close, but not quite. Just to give you some perspective, these numbers last week were well within the 70s. It made it feel so humid here. A nice break. As we go through tonight, clear skies. Next couple of hours, 9, 10, 11 p.m., a few high-level clouds, but that's about it. Monday starts off with a lot of sunshine, so you'll need the shades, especially heading east with the rising sun, but otherwise, a few uh, clouds make their way in. We're dry all day Monday. It's overnight into Tuesday that a couple of forecast models have tried to bring in some light rain here. I think it'll be a weakening system. The dry air we just pointed out will be a big factor in this, absorbing a lot of moisture as this gets closer. But I do think some showers make their way through around the mid-morning hours. So if your commute's a little bit later or uh, you have plans 9 to 10 a.m., a quick hit of light rain, but it's in and out so fast. Uh, hardly worth a mention. We dry out for the second half of the day and get back to sunshine. So a lot to look forward to. The 6 to 10 day outlook. Baltimore is kind of a stronghold. One of the few spots on the eastern seaboard that looks to be below average for the 6 to 10 day outlook. A couple of places running warmer or near average, but I think we'll trend a little bit cooler here about a week from today. Talking into next weekend. Here's your seven day forecast in the week ahead. Mainly sunny skies for the most part in the week ahead. Again, one note, those morning showers on Tuesday, but uh, opted to go for the sunny icon because that will be most of the day. You know those showers will work their way through quick. Temperatures in the mid 80s. I mean, talk about some consistency. I think we've earned it. Partly cloudy skies by the time we get to Friday, a nice change of pace from Debbie. But it's by next weekend that storms and showers start to work their way back in. It doesn't look like anything widespread at this point. We're talking some scattered summertime thunder showers. That'll be Saturday and Sunday where highs hold in the mid 80s. Mallory.